up guys, Jason here, Morph Mixology Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me all right. With last week's video being so weird with the audio and that on my main camera, uh, I don't have time to mess with it at the moment, so I'm actually shooting this on my phone. Um, but heck, I know people that start entire YouTube channels on their phone, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, today we're gonna do a really quick video. It's actually late at night at the time of filming this and I gotta get up early for work in the morning. But this clutch right here, the super fire clutch is due to be cut. I'll show you, actually I just fed her. So here's the female, hopefully she's done. Yep, just fed her. So this is Fiona, the fire female. Again, repeat clutch from last year. And I can find it, it's over here. And then, oh, it's going into the shed, so it doesn't look too good. But Drake, the dragonfly, pastel pinstripe fire male. So again, repeat pairing from last year. Um, remember last year we only got like one or two super fires and or something like, not great odds. So hopefully this one's better. Uh, says the 4th of July on the tub, but it's the third at the time of filming this. And so day 55 and I opened the tub to check on them and there's already a bunch of pippers and a couple look like they're almost out or all the way out. So um, anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and get into that and cut this clutch and see how we did on 10 eggs from dragonfly to fire. All right, so we've got Drake to Fiona. This is that repeat clutch from last year. Fire or um, dragonfly. So pastel pinstripe fire to fire female. Uh, this year we got 10 eggs, last year we got 11, and only two super fires last year, and only one of them made it, unfortunately. Um, hopefully the odds are a little better here. Just so you guys are aware, if you look in here, obviously we've got some, we got two that are completely out of a nice fire and a fire pin, and a super fire that's about 60% out. This is day 55, folks, so um, these guys pipped. These uh, two of these guys pipped on day 54. I've got another one that's already cut. So we're gonna go ahead and just finish cutting these. So I can go ahead and take this egg out, it's empty. Let me take this egg out and it's empty. We'll go ahead and finish egg four here that's already got a slit in it. So in this case, I'm just gonna finish the slit. I'm actually gonna, with the rest of these, uh, try the way that Billy at Mutation Creation does it with the one strip down the middle. But this one's already started, so we're just going to finish it for it. Looks like a dragonfly. So that's the same thing that uh, the dad was. We hit one of these last year, too. These things are awesome as babies. So that's odds are good so far. Egg number three. So this is the difference. Like I said, I'm gonna try Billy's tactics here, although not with the comically large scissors. I can I can understand though why he uses regular craft full size office scissors for that. But there's, okay, so this one looks like maybe just a normal. It's, I like the way I cut them, we're just gonna stick with that. So yep, this one looks like, hopefully you can see it in the light, probably just a normal, interesting. The more genes you have in play, the less likely it is to get a normal. So it's kind of interesting when you get that. Now remember the super fires in here, the all white snakes, uh, they could be pastel and pinstripe as well. And you really won't know until you breed them out. So egg number eight is another super fire. They're all white snake. Make sure you're reacting. Okay, Let's come around the corner a little bit further here. Yeah, awesome. That one's fairly big too, he's stuffed in there. Oops. 
Hmm, it's kind of in our way here. Here we go. There's egg number two. Egg number two has another dragonfly. Look at that. These things are just killer when they're babies. Bright orange, nice stripe. Awesome. So that's two of those. Here's egg number seven. Egg number seven is a firefly, looks like. Really reduced firefly, that's gonna be awesome when it comes out, very little side pattern here. That's, that's cool. Pastel fire there. I'll save egg number one for last. Here's egg number nine, or six rather, nine's over there. I think nine had that other super fire in it. Number six is another dragonfly. You can see just a tiny bit of pattern here on the sides and that. That's how I know it's not a super. That one's reacted. Check this fire flag. Yeah. Okay. Now this one, this one's kind of interesting because you remember when we pulled this clutch in the trailer, this one was kind of left out. That's why it's like all dirty, so. Egg number one, let's see if it's any good. Um, it's, I mean, it looks good, it's just dirty. So we'll see. Egg number one is another super, look at that. Another all white snake. It's reactive, that's good. We'll get this albumin back in here. All right, awesome. So as far as the odds are of this one compared to last season, uh, last season we didn't do all that hot on the odds at all. But this year we've got, we've got a fire pin. These are really cool when they color up. A fire, there's the normal here. I don't think that's a fire. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. The firefly, so pastel fire, or pastel, yeah, pastel fire. And then one, two, three dragonflies, and one, two, three super fires, black eyed leucistics. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's about as good as we can do. That's awesome odds to have three supers with possibly pastel and pinstripe in them and three three gene animals um, out of a nine or a 10 eight clutch that's six of them out of a 10 eight clutch that's pretty awesome so that'll do it for this one guys i hope you guys enjoyed uh, i'll do an update video when these guys all come out and shed and get their first meals and we'll figure out the sexes on all of them and everything in this clutch is more than likely going to be available so uh, if there's anything you're interested in ahead of time, just send me a message. The easiest way is on Instagram at Morph Mixology, and I'll get you on the list and we'll get uh, get you set up for one of these when they're ready to go. Till next time, see ya.